Colleagues, today another travesty is being committed here by the General Assembly, an unforgivable act, the destruction of the United Nations Charter. The UN Charter, the sacred document which serves as the foundation of everything we are supposed to do here, is being trampled upon. It is being thrown out the window. You, you are spitting on the very values that were formulated to bind this organization. With today's destruct destructive resolution, you are circumventing the Security Council, ignoring its decision and violating the norms this organization has abided by. The Charter was drafted for a reason, but most of you care nothing for the qualifications it outlines. So let me remind you what the Charter says about admitting new, new UN membership. Membership in the United Nations is open to all other peace-loving states which accept the obligations contained in the present charter, peace-loving. Number two, the admission of any such state to membership in the United Nations will be affected by a decision of the General Assembly upon the recommendation of the Security Council. With today's vote, you are not only bypassing the Security Council in violation of the Charter, but you are bastardizing the meaning of peace-loving. You know that the Palestinians are the exact opposite of peace-loving. You know this. Since they rejected the UN partition plan in 1947, they rejected it. They have only tried to destroy Israel time and again. They are terror-loving, not peace-loving. They are anything but peace-loving. The Palestinian Authority pays lifelong salaries to ter terrorists. It's in their budget. They teach martyrdom and jihad in their classrooms. They glorify death and murder. The Palestinians indoctrinate their children to murder Israelis and commit terror attacks. And then, when Israel defends herself, the Palestinian representative comes here, stands here, shedding his crocodile tears. As if he did not send all of them to commit suicide or terror attacks. Not a single Palestinian leader, not even one, has condemned the October 7th massacre. He calls the Hamas his brothers. And this is who you want to bestow the rights of a state upon? A terror entity? As long as you, as long as so many of you are Jew-hating, you don't really care that the Palestinians are not peace-loving. Despite your obligation to the UN Charter, you are here today to expose what the Charter truly means to you. When it comes to the lives of Israelis and Jews, the UN Charter means nothing to you. Nada. Kaput. By ignoring the Charter and granting the Palestinians the privileges of a member state, you are proving that morality is just a slogan for you, while politics and interests prevail. To you, the UN Charter is just a meaningless document, and the vote today will prove that. You know what you're doing today? Today you are gutting, gutting the Charter, and you are doing it in the wake of the most brutal massacre of my people since the Holocaust on the ashes of the October 7th massacre. Why? This day will go down in infamy. The UN, an organization that was established in the aftermath of the systematic murder of six million Jews, pays no heed to its founding charter and is advancing another genocidal regime that threatens the existence of the Jewish people. And I want the entire world to remember this moment, to remember this immoral act. So today, I will hold up a mirror for you. A mirror. 
This is your mirror. So that you can see exactly what you are inflicting upon the UN Charter with this destructive vote. This is... You are shredding the UN Charter with your own hands. Yes, yes, that's what you're doing. Shredding the UN Charter. Shame on you.